What's up everyone, today we're showcasing Drangtail, Garchomp and Ho-Oh. These two form a really cool core and I'll be uh, combining it with Lugia as a safe swap or sacrificial swap in most scenarios. I really do like it uh, in this meta and I really like Drangtail, Garchomp too. Like these Drangtails, they chunk everything and then you have also have Centum uh, to debuff your opponent's defense, which will make the Drangtails chunk even more. I'm going straight outrage here though, because a lot of uh, especially in the lead, a lot of players expect you to throw Centum first, so sometimes like throwing Outrage, my opponent smartly shields it up right there, uh, which means I won't be able to kill this before they throw another side strike, so I'll catch it on Lugia. Uh, Lugia has an absolute tank, so this resisted side strike won't do uh, that much. Uh, in comes Dialga, and this is very, very fine. You know, Lugia versus Dialga is not that bad. I'm just gonna go for the Arrow Blast right here. They get to a move. Pretty sure this is uh, an Iron Head, so I don't have to shoot it up. It is an Iron Head, and now we'll go for the Arrow Blast, and this should do a really, really good chunk to the Dialga. But alright, anyway, about this team. Ho-Oh is such a good closer in this meta as well. Like, get shields down is what I try to do with a Garchomp and Lugia, and then Ho-Oh can just clean up. Look at this, I have one shield, they have zero shields, and that's a really good scenario for me at this point. I'm gonna try to farm down this Dialga, and since they Dracoed, that does make it a lot easier. It means they won't get to another move. I almost... I have two Brave Birds stored, I'm at 100 energy. So if I throw a Brave Bird, I only need one more Incinerate to throw another one. And here comes in the basically the biggest threat to this team, it's Kyogre. I have nothing that really counters it, but Garchomp does a lot of work, Lugia does a lot of work, and two Brave Birds from Ho-Oh also take it out. Like, that's just uh, ridiculous. And in comes the Mewtwo again. If I wanted to be safe, I would switch to Garchomp right here, but I really want to finish it up with Ho-Oh. Incinerate it down, it is a great game. Ho-Oh closer. So good. All right, anyway, uh, Dialga lead. Swap instantly to Lugia. This is not a bad matchup. And most uh, Dialga leads I've seen don't have a strong Lugia answer in the back. Uh, so that's why I feel safe swapping it into uh, Dialga. And besides that, it's not a bad matchup overall because an Arrow Blast is a really good chunk. And Lugia can really tank those Iron Heads. In comes Giratina though, which is not a great answer for Lugia. I'm going to shield this up though. I'm expecting the Shadow Ball because it w would one-shot me. And Ominous Wind wouldn't KO just yet. I'm just gonna keep baiting though. Like, this Giratina doesn't want to take an Arrow Blast, and I think they won't switch advantage. Uh, so, I'm just gonna keep throwing uh, Sky Attacks right here. I wouldn't get to the Arrow Blast, so I'm going for Sky Attack, and I don't want to use another shield. That Dialga is loaded. Even if I get switch advantage, the Dialga will just come back in, farm Lugia down, Thunder or Draco my Ho Oh, Thunder or, or Iron Head or Draco my Garchomp, and it's it's over. I need, I need to keep a shield uh, for Dialga. For the moves from Dialga, that's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, I farmed down this Giratina with my Ho-Oh. Maybe not the best play, because I do have to take a Shadow Ball. I could have farmed down with Garchomp as well, but I'd rather have a lot of energy on Ho-Oh. And do have Extra Drill. Extra Drill will, will outpace me to a move though, or we get there at the exact same time. So I'll catch it on my Garchomp. This is just a Rock Slide. That's very, very nice. They're gonna farm up here though. They're gonna farm up here though, and I'm gonna swap out Rid with a Rock Slide loaded, meaning I can't shield this. If I shield this, uh, the uh, extra draw is gonna win CMP versus my Ho Oh, and I won't be able to fire the Earthquake onto it. So at this point, I wanna come, my, come in my Ho Oh here, farm up to 100. Can't shield this either. Honestly, I should have thrown before, but uh, I can't shield it now. Uh, I survive though. I go for the Brave Bird. Merch Shots shouldn't do that much, and I think I only need one or two more incinerates for another move. Just one, go for the Earthquake, that is GG. They had a Rock Slide ready, but I had a shield, so there was no point in throwing it. Uh, and I'll take this match right here. Very close one though, GG. All right, another match, another Dialga lead into Garchomp. Again, I'll instant swap into uh, Lugia. If they stay in, I always play this different. I really always play this different. My opponents also always play this different. Sometimes I'll shield this move up. Like here, sometimes I'll no shield, sometimes I'll throw sky attack, sometimes I'll throw arrow blast. Usually when I throw sky attack, they don't shield it. And usually when I throw arrow blast, they uh, they shield it. So this time I actually get the bait though. Like this was one of the first times I actually uh, got the bait. I think this is another iron head. So I'll no shield it. Probably should have no shield at the first move to be honest. Because that's usually not a big one. And here I just end up taking a Draco and lose a bunch of energy, which is not great. Uh, but might still be fine. Get a full free incinerate right here because my opponent threw on alignment. I'll take that for sure. Uh, Mewtwo. Uh, like they're swapping it in here. Meaning they probably have a better hole answer in the back. So I'm staying in. Just going for the Brave Bird. They need... After this, I think they need three more. 
for another Psy Strike, so I can probably throw another Incinerate. Yeah, I can. I have the Psy Strike right now, but I get to the Brave Bird before them. This will KO the Mewtwo, but what do they have in the back? What do they have in the back? Uh, oh yeah, they bring in the Helga. I, I think I have to throw the Sentum immediately because immediately, I do have a little bit of energy. I don't want them to get to an Iron Head, but look at how much damage. Look at how much damage. The, the, the Dragon Breath already did. It's pretty ridiculous. And here comes Kyogre. At this point, I think it's just game over. I try to get to the Outrage, but I can't. I have to go for Sentum right here. But I'm not at a Brave Bird just yet. Maybe a, a, a play would have been to farm up to a Brave Bird first the Dialga. But I think if I would have tried to go for another Incinerate first the Dialga, I would have been farmed down. Because I was like more triple debuffed. So this was just over, I think. Kyogre, pretty difficult first team. Alright, Dragon Tail, Groudon. Also not uh, easy for this team because it does beat Garchomp. Uh, it's pretty even-ish. Well, I think Lugia kind of destroys it, but it's kind of even-ish. Uh, ho, ho also really good for it, but like Dragon Tails just add up for everything. They bring in their Giratina though into my Lugia, which again is not that bad because I can burn shields here and I burn the, the first one already. Also, first Giratina with Lugia, I usually shoot the first move because they always go Shadow Ball. You know, Lugia generally is used as a big old meat shield. So people expect you to uh, no shield the first move or new shoot, new shoot everything because Lugia is so tanky. Uh, that's why I shield, because it's kind of surprising. And then you uh, burn some extra shields with your Lugia too. I'll go into Garchomp right here. I'll let go oh, whatever it is. At this point, I just want to sweep with uh, Ho-Oh, really. In comes their uh, Groudon, and they have a Melmodel in the back. And this is just beautiful for Ho-Oh. I'll shield up this Rock Slide for sure. I think maybe I could get to... I think they're at 7 Thunder Shocks. I'm not entirely sure, but I just go for Earthquake straight away. Don't want to play around. Don't want to mess around. Throw Earthquake, uh, and at this point, it's just a ho, -ho sweep, because I can basically Brave Bird this, and no KO. Honestly, I should have over-farmed more. I was not in an Earthquake range just yet, not in Fire Punch range. I should have done more, more Incinerate, and then I could have finished this with ho, -ho. Uh, But this Earthquake will KO now, and I still, but I still have my Garchomp, so it really didn't matter that much. I still have a Zentum right here, and it is a great game, but uh, optimally, uh, you would want to hit, uh, hit your Brave Bird when you're at like 100 energy. All right, Groudon lead, another one. I'll go into my Lugia. In comes their Lugia for the mirror match. This is awesome, because now my Garchomp gets to avoid the Lugia. Uh, Lugia is a big problem for Garchomp, actually, because the Dragon Tails really do add up, and Lugia is just so much more bulky. Go for Aero Blast, which is Shield, uh, which is kind of a pain. I guess they have the same, which what I told you last match, they have the same philosophy uh, as I have. You know, Lugia has a big old meat shield, so people throw the big move at it, like I just did, so I'll shoot it. Uh, that's exactly what they just did as well, and they baited me too, so that's a big yikes. Even though they were behind in energy, uh, they still end up hitting the arrow blast before me. But I can hit another arrow blast, and if they shoot this, like I'm fine, very fine with that. If they no shoot this, I think I take switch. I don't know. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be very close. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, it actually lags. Alright, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Though, I think we would probably simultaneous KO, right? Definitely. But now I get some extra chip. I didn't realize it's not lag. lag. That's kind of unfortunate. But alright, anyway, it happens. We have some. I think I have a lagging match on my side later in this video as well. Anyway, Groudon uh, into my Ho Oh. They go for an earthquake. Does a lot of damage. In comes their Mel model. I will farm up to the max. Go into my Garchomp. This is just a very comfortable matchup. Very, very comfortable matchup uh, for Garchomp right here. Honestly, I probably could have gone for Earthquake with Ho-Oh on the, on the Mel model before switching. That would either kill him, which would be nice, or, or burn their shield. Both would be fine, to be honest. Groudon does have some energy, though. At this point, I'll let anything go. Mel model throws. Also... Maybe I could have waited before throwing my Sentum before after I throw their super power, but uh, I think this is still fine. Because we kill it right here. At this point, I'm really hoping to get to another Sentum. But I do not. This Crowdon does have a lot of energy. I will throw the Brave Bird straight away. Because uh, I, have, I have a shield. So, you know, and they win CMP. So if they would go for the immediate move, I would just let it go. Because it's likely a Fire Punch. Uh, but now I get the Brave Bird. KO the Crowdon. GG. All right, next match is a Dragonite into my Garchomp. Oh, a little bit decent at the start. It's kind of unfortunate. 
it looks like I don't get my dragon to throw right there, which is strange because I did throw the move immediately. But as you can see, oh, I didn't get it through. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Uh, this is a different match. All right. Yeah, I didn't get it through because I lagged for one turn at the start. If not through immediately, I didn't get through. Fine. I, I'll catch the Dragon Claw. All my Dragon, all my Lugia does absolutely nothing. In comes the Mail Model. And this is kind of where I like to see the Mail Model. Uh, even though, like, this is not great. I think Dragonite leads are very, very tough for this team. Because, uh, like, I have to stay in Garchomp for the majority of the time. Because ho -Oh really doesn't want to see it in the back unless I can burn some shields. Uh, but seeing as usually with Dragonite, it's Melmod on the back, like I can switch in Lugia into the Dragonite immediately, but then I can't burn shields on the Melmod, so it's kind of eh, it's not great. And I'm still not burning shields on this Melmod. I go for the Centum right here. This will uh, do, well, this won't take him out, but it will do a decent chunk. I try to go to, into a Ho-Oh, hoping to catch a super power potentially if they throw immediately. Uh, they throw it on my, uh, oh, uh, luckily I didn't because I actually threw a Rock Slide. Uh, which makes my uh, Garchomp go down. They have an Excadrill, which is pretty okay. Because I can think I can farm this down all the way. But not before I to get to Rock Slides. But I can survive. I can survive a Rock Slide. Just barely. And they have two very low HP mons in the back. Which I might be able to farm down. Though Incinerate is a 5 turn move. Which means they'll get two more th Thunder Shocks with Melmodel. And five more. That's five. This is four. Five more Dragon Reds with Dragonite on my Lugia. Can I, can I survive? It's two Thunder Shocks. Easy tank. Here comes Dragonite. Barely survive. This is a best buddy ho, -ho by the way. And that one HP more from the best buddy came through right there. G, G. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, good lead with Melmodel into my Garchomp. In comes Dialga, though. Dialga safe swap is definitely harder to deal with than like a Dialga lead, to be honest. Though... Honestly, probably should have just instant swapped into my Lugia. Because uh, now I'm shields down. I have a very low health Garchomp that basically dies to one super power. I have a Lugia. Though they can't really farm me down, they can definitely farm up uh, to uh, like 100 energy and then throw their final rock slides. And they still have a bunch of health. And at this point, like a Centum doesn't KO. I'll need like two Centums and a bunch of... Drain Tills to KO, or like a Centum and a bunch of Incinerates. But it's still pretty scary at this point. I'll just go for Sky Attack at this point. I'll take any chip damage I can. Uh, but this Mail Model is really, really farming up right there. Uh, at this point, letting Lugia go seems like the best move. I'm going to Chomp. Could also like try to catch a move on ho -Oh, but it's risky most of the time just throw in the middle of your dragon tail animation anyway i want to keep my shield i really want to keep my shield i instant swap right there expecting like a snipe expecting like i don't know dragon breath user to come in and farm me down before i can get off a move so instant swap to ho -Oh, it's a giratina uh, yeah this is not amazing but brave birds do hurt here so i'm just gonna go straight for brave bird maybe if i hit a brave bird and then farm down the giratina with garchomp i have some play but they get to the move right before my second Brave Bird. So I will have to sh use a shield right here. And after I use this shield, my switch timer is not even up. I will fire the Brave Bird. But my switch timer is not up. I would ideally swap out immediately and go for the farm down. But now they just got a bunch of farm. I should have not thrown the second Incinerate, to be honest. I should have waited. That's another strat you can do with Incinerate. Instead of, like, if your switch timer is barely up, you just don't want to throw. Because then you can swap, like, a little bit earlier. Should have tried that right there, but either way, I think it was over. Well played by my opponent. Very good lead. Garchomp into Melmodel. I, I did see a bunch of Melmodel leads the last couple days. Uh, Melmodel is just so strong. Melmodel is just so strong. In comes Lugia. I'll go for the Outrage, because I'm not expecting that to shield again. Lugia is a big giant meat shield, but they might just shield it because they, they know I know that. Anyway. I'll mirror with my own Lugia, because my, Lu my Lugia definitely wants to avoid their mail model, and I can tank whatever they throw. Aeroblast, fine. Does nothing. They get the attack boost, though. Kind of unfortunate, but I think in the long run, it doesn't really matter, because even if they didn't get the attack boost, a rock side from uh, the mail model would have KO'd. And even with, like, I'm in the red, but this thing can never farm it. It's not possible. You can't farm down a Lugia with Thunder Shocks. It is it's just that's that's mad it's mad uh, they're gonna they're definitely trying though they're definitely trying actually are they are they gonna get it oh shit well never mind all right they're they're getting it all right they're getting it that tech boost might have helped them a little bit then 
But uh, again, I still have a Garchomp. Like, I should be fine. Should really be fine. I think I'll have to shield this. Yes, thank you. I have the habit of not shielding the first super power. So I have to be better at shooting the first super power if I'm going to shoot the second one anyway. Or shoot one of them anyway. You have to shoot the first one in that case. Here comes Eveltal. And, well, this is kind of alright. I'll, I'll just go for Centum. Even if they no shield, fine. Because then the incineration just do so much damage. But they shield! Which is great. That's fantastic, actually. That is fantastic. The incinerate. Those incinerates do so much damage. Wow. Alright, uh, I can take I can take one Dark Pulse. I can, I can actually take two Dark, two, two, two dark Pulses. As you can see. Easy. Farm up to 100. That was over 100. Oh, I farmed down. Oh, I farmed down all the way. Yeah, I win CMP. I win CMP. So, I'm just going to farm down all the way. And then throw a, a, an Earthquake at that male model. I was expecting to swap, so I just threw the move immediately. Don't want to fire an extra incinerate by accident. Uh, and there we go. We far. Oh my god, I don't even go for the. Yeah, that was risky. I don't even go for the Brave Bird because I didn't think I'd have it. Uh, so, go for or I think I thought the incinerate would kill. <laughs> that was quite risky. But we got it. GG. Dude, good swap by my opponent. It took Groudon. Thing is, though, they catch a Sand Tomb on their Groudon. Which is not great because now they're debuffed. And now we're just going to Lugia. And this is, has just become a very easy matchup. Especially since uh, they are Mutchult. And Mutchult. Mitchell Groudon is just gets just straight up walled by, by Lugia. Though even even like these like his defense is dropped and his dragon tails really aren't doing that much. Lugia is, is strong, but its attack is not high. It's not high. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna go for the full farm down here. I can still take three fire punches and you only get one more max and he doesn't even get it. This point, probably Dialga coming back in. I'll just go straight for the arrow blast. Right? Could probably bait here too because it's very likely they uh, they will shield which i do but i'm very fine oh my god a tech buff actual tech buff if this is an iron i don't die if it's an iron head i still get to the sky attack right easy yeah it's a beast it is ridiculous if there's one pokemon i would suggest you try to get for master league it's lugia uh, definitely lugia oh my god it's a ho -Oh. um no, it's a Kyogre. I try to go for Outrage out here, but I die. Uh, so this game over. Yeah, the will is a, tr is a problem in the back. The will is a big problem in the back. Oh, I wouldn't be able to deal with it with a shield up. Uh, Alright, Giratina lead. Shiny Giratina lead. This is... Alright. Sometimes I shield here, sometimes I don't. This time I shield it. And I'm just going to go for the Sand Tomb. I'm pretty sure if I let this go, I can farm it down before they can get to another move. I'm not sure though. I think I lagged a little bit at the start, which cost me a move. Uh, I'm going to go... Do I go for the Outrage here? Oh, crazy. Crazy. I'll stay in. Yeah, Glenorus is kind of a problem for this squad, actually. Glenorus is pretty much, uh, kind of a problem. Lugia does beat it. Barely. But with a shield advantage, not really. So I go for the Sand Tomb right here. Sand Tomb bait a shield, which is huge. Now, I can take two rock slides, farm down, pretty sure, right? How much does one of his rock slides do? How much does one of the, it does? Yeah, not even a half. Not even a half. I can take another one. Easy, easy. If this was the, the other Landorus, two stone edges, I think it was. So that's a bit tougher, but still, they get to the moves way, way, well, not way, a little bit slower. A little bit slower. In comes Melmodal again. I'm just going to throw Sky Attacks. Why did I throw Sky Attack? Wait, what did they lead again? I think I was expecting their lead uh, to come in right there. Uh, but it didn't. Uh, so, yeah. That, that was kind of awkward. Uh, anyway, this Melmodal is still uh, in a fine health range. Like, I can send him this. And then I'll probably go into ho -Oh to incinerate it down. I'm pretty they shield this. That'd be uh, beautiful. They do. We should pretty use the shield. Oh, yeah. I was expecting this to come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giratina lead. Yes. I was expecting this to come in. I don't, all right, I don't want to shield. Because the Melmodel has a rock slide. And, oh, wait, I actually can shield. This this was one of the matches. Actually, this was one of the earlier matches. I didn't realize that Ho-Oh won CMP. I didn't realize that Ho-Oh won CMP versus Melmodel. So I didn't think I could shield, but they boosted. I had to shield right here. Boosted on this win, doesn't KO me. I go for the Earthquake, and I was so surprised. I really thought Melmodel won CMP, but no. Ho-Oh actually is higher attack than Melmodel. So it's pretty cool. GG. GG. Alright, Dialga lead. Dialga lead. Again, always go into 
Lugia. Your Tina comes in. When you know the play, shield the first move. Burn shields. That's the ID. You want to burn shields. So look. All right, different play. Like I say, I don't always play the same. All right. Oh my God. I look like an idiot now. I don't always play the same way. All right. I, I, I'm trying out different shit. Uh, I, I still burn a shield. It's fine. It's all. It's, it's all good. It's all good. I think they have to. I think they have to burn another shield here if they want to guarantee switch. Like if they don't shield. All right. This is okay. I think. Right. Can I farm this down? I, I like at this point. I could consider farming down. I guess I burnt one shield. Still, I would. I would recommend you. You shoot the first move so you can burn both shields. Because one shield, ho ho, versus the Alga is still not amazing. Ooh, I'm gonna go for the Outrage this time. Ooh, spicy. Burn another shield. Alright, alright. Alright, going to ho ho. This is, this is very weird play. Like, I, 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 don't, I can't remember playing it this way, but I, I did. Apparently. Alright. Alright, I'm I'm still one shoot up. Ah, pressed the earthquake right there. Hopefully it didn't fire. This was not a real CMP tie. Uh I think it's fake. Uh oh, Groudon. Alright, this is good. Yeah, this is really good. It's a mutual Groudon too. I'm gonna earthquake this first. One Brave Bird doesn't KO, and I'd rather not debuff myself when I don't have to. Uh and like even if you earthquake, like earthquake plus brave bird takes the same amount of incinerates as Brave Bird plus Brave Bird does. So might as might as well just go uh Earthquake Brave Bird. I'm gonna swap out right here. I wanna save my ho ho. Going till down the Dialga. That is a G G right there. Alright, there are multiple ways to the win, as you can see. Alright, swap with the Lugia once again. Always Dialga, it's always the same. Lugia swap. What am I gonna do this time? Like I said, I play this matchup differently every time. This time I shoot the first move again. Interesting. Iron Head. I throw arrow throw arrow blast at this point. Honestly, I think going for the Skytech baits is safer. Like, hitting the arrow blast is nice, but going for the Skytech baits is safer because you always get some chip. If you go for Skytech baits, just go straight Skytech, you always get the Yelga into the red. But if they Iron Head Draco you, if there was a Draco or Thunder, like, you, I didn't even get it into the yellow. Or I did get it into the yellow, I didn't get it into the red. Because they're Iron Headed there, I got lucky, and then it either red, but if they thundered me, like, I would have been in a bad spot. Because that's a lot of health. That's too much health for Garchomp or Ho to farm down. I'd have to use another shield. Whereas if I just straight Sky Attack, like, you don't beat it. You never beat it. But you always put it into the red. If you Arrow Blast and they, they no shield, that's really good as well, though. But, like, it's kind of awkward. It's very awkward. All right, another Kyogre in a bat and back end's over. It's very over. All right, Palkia lead. This is uh, decent. This is... Oh, it's, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, Palkia definitely gets to the moves quicker. Uh, besides that, also has, like, better stats. Uh, so not the best. Also is running Dragon Breath, which is kind of awkward for my Dragon Tail Garchomp. Here comes Lugia, though, which is quite nice. Them swapping out that Palkia really hurts my Ho-Ho in the back. Because ho -Oh, uh, ho -Oh's incinerates are double resisted, of course, by Dragon Water typing. And, well, I, maybe I could have considered... Actually, this is a team I know. That's why I swapped into uh, Lugia. Palkia, Excadrill, Lugia is, is a team I've seen uh, multiple times. So I'm expecting an Excadrill on the back. If it's an Excadrill on the back, I really want to keep my Ho-Ho. That's why I swapped Lugia right here. If I didn't know the team, I would have definitely swapped in Ho-Oh. Um, because then, like, uh, the Ho can avoid the Palkia. But I really needed Ho-Oh for extra drill. I go for the bait. And at this point, I'm just going to chip down. I don't... I'm not playing any games. Just going straight for the Sky Attack. Well, I guess I'm playing Pokemon Go. But besides the point, I just want to get some chip on this extra drill. And yes... Once I get some chip, I can hopefully farm this down with Ho-Oh and then double Rave Bird to Palkia. That's my play. Gonna go for the Incinerate down. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Or shield this again. I can survive one Rock Slide from Excadrill. This thing is a monster, but not as much of a monster as Ho-Oh that just killed that. And I swap with the Garchomp. This is a very dumb play. Very dumb play. I give them more energy. I was thinking that I could Dragon Tail enough to where I could Incinerate down. Because I didn't want to throw Brave Bird. But now I'm gonna have to throw double Brave Bird. Because if they need two more incinerates, or I need two more incinerates to kill them, they'll definitely get to Aqua Tail. Hopefully I get there before they get to the Aqua Tail. Barely do. And that's a ho ho taking down a Palkia. And that's a great game. I think that's the final match. It is. And it's a great one too. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this team. Let me know if there's any 
other teams you want me to showcase down in the comments down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.